guys, I just thought I'd give you an update on what this video is about. So I'm on my way to a small national park called Tilikiyarvi and it's, I think it's only uh, 33 kilometers squared, square kilometers. So yeah, it's gonna be my first bikepacking trip. And I've got all the stuff here and also in the car. I think it's uh, 27 degrees Celsius today. So super hot. So let's get going. Okay, here we are, Tilukiyarvi. And I got a notification yesterday on Instagram that the road was okay at uh, this end. load my bike and ride on through and check it out that's the plan and um, see what we can do with that track see if it's actually rideable let's see how far we can get so far so good <laughs> looks soft mind anyways I'm on it Oh Jesus, yeah that's soft, that is soft. Yeah, we're going to have to go down through some gears, that's really soft. I'm in the granny gear. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. I don't think I can ride that. No, way too heavy. Okay. Let's hope there's no more snow at the end of this path. That's a long way. It looks like I'm about halfway. So I can either turn around and uh, drive on somewhere else or I can just simply trek on it is a slog must admit he's a slog but um yeah I think we just trek on we'll just do it there were some really tough bits back there and uh god it's like dragging this I don't know there's like 20 kilos I'm dragging here through cement <laughs> oh my god but hey I've seen some of you road tours out there mountain bikers and you all struggle at some point and at the end there is some reward so let's just say I want to be part of that game and I'm certainly in it at the moment I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> I think I drank them all water already. Having a great time though. <laughs> Man, I gotta laugh. Sometimes trips are too easy, eh? One handed through cement. Not good. <clears throat> well, so far, uh, it's not been so deep as what it was. Famous last words, I know. But um, it's quite compact at the moment. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, good. Well, it's nice to be out here anyways. Oh, yeah. Man, I've come a long way. That's not even uh, half of what you can see what I've done. And that's not even half of what needs to be coming. <laughs> 
Yeah, baby. Stuck. Look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> I've just pushed this. Must be, I put this on the odometer, 132. I put it on about halfway. So, you know, about three kilometers. I've pushed this bike <laughs> through uh, some, well, it's deep snow most of the way. But anyways. We're here, and right there is a signpost. So uh, that area there is the car park. So I'm gonna trudge through this, and pull up there, and uh, make an assessment. Post hole in all the way, most of the way. Oh, and again, <laughs> focus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, you can see where the snow's been up to. Jesus. Near enough halfway up the bike. I've been a monster. I've been plowing through that man. Jesus. So there you go. Never come to a Finnish national park in May near Sotkamo, even if it's been bloody hot, because uh, there's still lots and lots of snow. Anyways, good fun, good exercise. Okay, well here we are, made it. That three kilometer track through that. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I presume this is the main road. This is the track that I just pushed the bike down at three kilometers. Here we are now in Boys near me. And uh, yeah, this is Kosiva. Here there's a nice hut, fireplace, toilets. Uh, yeah, obviously, wood. Nice big lake. As you can see the whole area is a huge lake, kind of split in half, uh, except for this little bit here, which is open. You can canoe straight through there, or there's certain points you can drag the canoe over. Uh, beautiful place in the summer. I haven't been here that often in the winter, so this is my first time in May. Usually I'm here in June, July. But looking at the track over there, Looking at the track over there, it, uh, it doesn't look snowy. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, take the bike, have a little ride up there, and uh, see, see how it goes. It's on a ridge, so uh, maybe it got a lot of sunlight and there's no snow. There's a lake there. I come canoeing here. Quite a lot. It's a beautiful place. If you've seen uh, any of my videos in the summer, you'll see at some point I get to canoe here. It's just an amazing place. Diluki Yarvi. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> okay. Oi, yay! Here we go. Oh man, I really hope it's like this all the way. That'd be such a result for all that hard work. Oh, killer. That whacked me out, that 3K in cement. Kosovo, 1.7. Is it 
gonna be free. Nice. Hope so. spinning come on yeah Whew. nice she killer no snow put up that tent really close to mine so I feel a little bit stupid talking because I'm not a proper YouTuber you know <laughs> a little bit embarrassed so uh, probably gonna be a lot of silent stuff but uh, so I'm having a really good time Whee, Jesus too many I had a little bit of whiskey in my hip flask and I decided to <laughs> go for a bike ride not the best idea but hey a little bit fun oh yoy this is good having a blast really quiet here even though we've got like a maybe four or five people in that campsite Finnish people are just so quiet why is them on the bike still? Yep. Good. Oh, legs. So. I think uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of chill out now, <laughs> take kind of minimal 
video maybe a few pictures Instagram and stuff no, just chill out, like, read my Kindle and relax, really. Good morning. I've been up now for just over an hour. I packed everything away. I decided to put my tarp five up just for a little bit of protection and to make it more homely. Most of the stuff is all packed. Uh, just filling up my water bottles now. And then I'm gonna start, maybe have another coffee actually. Give me another coffee and then pack everything up properly. Oi! So easy with a gravity filter. That's my water done. Coffee. And pack up. Beautiful lake. Not much of a ripple on the water. Stunning. 
there's a hut just over there. Uh, looks like a couple have maybe slept there tonight. There's a little stove and a little place where you can sleep. This bench. Here is a woodshed, here is a toilet, and here's the fireplace. Even comes with utensils. And some matches. Okay, back to the lodge. So I want to show you a semi uh, bike packs. I'm nowhere near um, experience. This is my first time out bike packing, uh, but I I do have a lot of uh, lightweight, semi lightweight hiking gear because I've been hiking for. A few years now um, yeah let's uh, delve into it this saddle bag is an Ortlieb waterproof 16.5 litre saddle bag and in this I put My puffy down jacket because even in uh, I say even in Finland it's not the warmest place um, even in the summer but in any kind of morning you can have a, a cold spell so it's always good to bring a puffy or in mornings or late evenings and it kind of protects everything that I've got in there at the back like my trekking poles you'll see in a minute I have my Hilleberg Tarp 5 which gets squashed in there I have my Cumulus uh, 850 down sleeping bag and my Hilleberg Mesh Tent 1 really light system with the Hilleberg Tarp And I have my stakes and trekking poles. These are Black Diamond Trail Shock Pro uh, trekking poles. You can dismantle them. Uh, it's all I've got at the moment to put up the tarp and the mesh tent. Uh, I have to look see if there's a kind of lighter system for that. And that's it. That uh, makes that really full. So yeah, when packing, I'll take my trekking poles first. Even though these ends are quite spiky, uh, I'm kind of careful to make sure they don't rub in the bottom of the bag. So they just go in the bottom like that and then I take my stakes for the tarp and they just fit in there like that like so and then my mesh tent I squeeze I push down into this hard plastic bit which uh, gives the bag some form I have the stakes and the tent poles there tarp poles and I squash this in this area here Squashed in there, so about here. 
And then I take my sleeping bag and push that in as far as I can. And then the hill about the top. This goes on the side there. And just push that down as far as I can go. So that's what she's looking like at the moment. And then the puffy, I just squeeze in so I can get it. And I have them um, maybe sharp edges here, try and get it underneath the trekking poles so it doesn't split the bag. Take some work. Um, you need it to be a good fit, anyways, and compact to give the bag some form and it stops it from wobbling around. So then start to fold, make sure you have the air vent out. Okay. And push against that like that. Okay, it's so one side. Okay. Air it back in. And there we go. That's the saddle back. Now, in the frame bag, this is a medium Gius Mina. Sorry if I slaughtered that pronunciation. But uh, here I have my car keys, my pump, sunglasses, wallet on one side. And it's really good you have these um, mesh pockets and Velcro. This is attached, so you, you won't lose them at all. That's that side. And then on this side, there's another zip pocket. Another side there. Here I have my uh, power bank and cable for my phone. I have a knife and a, uh, and a striker. Great for if you lose your matches, you can uh, light the stove or have some birch bark, light a fire, a little bit of bushcrafty. A uh, plastic cup, which I cut the handle off so it fits nicely inside my uh, cooking pot. I have an MSR pocket rocket with a mini lighter, mini bic, and a seat of cement, fold up spoon. Which is great for getting in them long dehydrated packets. That goes in there, fits nicely in there. So that's the frame bag. I've said it's a medium. Um, I don't know how many litres it is. I will put it in the uh, description. Uh, these, these are actually. Uh, camera bags which I had for my lenses uh, a few years ago but I'm, I'm waiting from AliExpress to get some um, water bottle holders you know the ones fit on the on the side of the top tube here but in here I have um, just various assortments of tools this is my tool bag so in here I have oil a couple of spare straps uh, Leatherman puncture repair kit, uh, little bits and pieces like that. I'm waiting to actually get a, uh, a proper, um, what do you call it, bike tool 
you know, with all the um, Allen keys, etc. But uh, at the moment, I've just got various little Allen keys that I can use to unscrew, etc. And here I have a spare one just for water bottle and snacks. And here's my gloves. And in this one, this is a uh, the brain, the top box of an Osprey 70 litre backpack, which I own. So I took this off. You can use this as a uh, as a bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you call it. And I decided to use it as a uh, handlebar bag. So in my main compartment, I have my super duper massive Xbed Sinmat XP9, long and wide. Super overkill. And the size is 197 by 65 by 9 centimeters. And it is super big. Uh, I use this for winter camping. Um, but it's so much um, more comfortable than the Thermarest Neo Air, which is just too thin. I just wasn't getting enough sleep. I had that for years. I've still got it, actually, but um, it's just so uncomfortable. I keep falling off it, and I toss and turn. I prefer to carry the extra weight and the extra large size, just for a really good sleep. So yeah, that's in there, and then underneath, I have a small inflatable pillow, a cheapy hike nature. I think I got it off Amazon. So that squashes in there like that. Here I have a uh, backpack cover for when it rains, and that just goes over the top. Maybe something like that. Maybe over my hands as well. So that just kind of keeps everything dry there. And that I just squash into the side there. And I kind of threaded it, threaded it through this um, buckle thing there. In the front, there's my uh, brandy flask. <laughs> yes. Uh, little bits of GoPro stuff, rubbish at the moment. A little bits of rubbish. Yeah, and that's that. Oh, and underneath I have my super luxury item, my Helen Helenox. I think it's a chair one, which uh, is just pretty damn good. When you've been on the saddle most of the day, you just want to sit down. On somewhere soft and it's well worth the wait in my opinion. I have two water bottles 850 mil which uh, go to the side. I didn't have any cage holders uh, on this uh, suspension forks so I saw a guy tape the uh, actual bolt holders to it And yeah, it works really well. It's perfect. I haven't had a problem, really solid. And for extra security, I put a uh, Velcro strap around both of them. So yeah, cool. And because I haven't got everything dialed in at the moment, I think I need a 15 liter handlebar bag here and I might be good. But uh, yeah, I have to bring this little backpack with me, which has got my stove and cook kit. Sorry, not my stove, my stove's in the frame bag. Uh, which is, this has got my gas canister and a little cleaning sponge underneath. And this pot is a MSR type kettle, 850ml. So that just fits on there like that. Stops it from rattling and making a noise. And uh, folds up 
all in this little mesh bag which is good the reason why I keep this mesh bag on here instead of a uh, elastic band which some of the you know uh, through hikers and lightweight hikers do just to save them extra grams is sometimes I uh, use this pot on a fire and you get black soot underneath and I didn't don't want that interfering with anything else that I've got in my bag so I use this it's really lightweight to cover up the soot it helps lots also I have my buff uh, sleeping stuff it's just socks and uh, t-shirt TP toilet paper coffee Chicken fajita with rice, dehydrated meal, and my gravity filter, which you saw earlier. It's an MSR 4 litre bag, uh, sleeping stuff again, and that's that. So, just for the extra stuff that I've got, which doesn't weigh that much, I throw this in this bag. And in the front here I have uh, a first aid kit, which I'll go into that in another video if you're interested to see that. Yeah, so... Enjoying this bike packing gear, having fun. And uh, yeah, by no means is it all dialed in and all keyed up, but I'm getting there bit by bit, I think. I managed to get everything I need, even with a luxury item like the Helinox chair on the bike for this trip. So slowly, slowly dial in what I don't need and what I do need. And uh, yeah. All good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to put another one out there quite soon. Uh, this is my first bike packing adventure, and yeah, it's been a real, a real blast, a different experience, and it's really good. Loving it. No, no weight on my back, and. I come to a beautiful place like this and I could uh, set up all my gear, leave it and then I've got a really light bike to go riding around on some trails. So yeah, if you like the video then please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you like it and of course share with your friends. I'm going to call it on this one and uh, I'll see you on the next one.